Hey everyone, I'm kind of new to GPU mining, but I always hear people talking about these things that go from 6-pin PCIe to SATA power connectors, and they are bad, especially for the newer cars like the 30 series of NVIDIA or like the, six, the 6000 series for AMD, because the SATA connector is only rated for like, I think, 54 watts, and those units can actually, on a GPU riser, pull upwards up to 75 watts so it overloads this and this is causing fires in people's rigs so i want to see if i can recreate this on the bench here what i have is one of these cut apart here's the six pin piece and here is the section for the sata i have power let's see here power supply is over here so i got positive coming in going in through what would be your psu connection 12 volts going through the three pins internally, then coming on out to the two connectors that you have on here, going into my active load, then coming back out my active load. Negative is going through the four negative wires that are normally connected up to here. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. He's going to help me in a second. In a minute. In a minute. Chill. <laughs> Ground going back through the connectors, coming through your two power connectors that you usually have on your PSU, and running back to the power supply. So that's what's giving us our 12 volts right now. So let's go ahead and crank up to 75 watts and see if we can get this thing pretty hot and smoking. So let's see here. Let's do course first and get it up here. So we're at 10, 15 watts, 19, 26, 33, 47, 59. Come on. I don't want to overpower it. 70, 71, 74, 75 and a half. Good right there. So let's see how hot this thing gets here. It's 75 watts power pull. It's right now, it's exactly 7 p.m. So let's let this run for a few minutes to see how warm it really gets. Woohoo! That's already warm. Okay, hold on a second here. I did not expect that to heat up that fast. Okay, people, let's get a reading here. It's only been one minute. We're already at 158 degrees. See that? Right on the connector here. And it's actually on the PSU side that's really hot. The molded side is getting warm. Yeah, I got like 105 on the actual molded connector, but the PSU side, the actual, that side, oh my god, yeah. We're up to 163 degrees now. So, and yeah, we're not even two minutes into this test here, and it's already that hot. Uh, get your hands off my phone, little man. What do you think you're doing? So, we're going to let this run for about 10 minutes and see how hot it gets, but... If it's already that hot, I can see why people are having problems with their rigs burning down by using this connector at 75 watts. Okay, 705. Let's see what we got here at 705. Holy crap. Okay, we're only five minutes into this test. I'm going to call it. Look at that. 198 degrees on this connector. If I let it go for a half an hour, which I really don't want to burn down my house, I'll probably end up burning down my house because this thing just keeps getting hotter and hotter. And we are still, okay, we're at 76 watts, not 75. One watt's not going to make that big of a difference. This is why SATA connectors should be used for hard drives. And they're made for hard drives that pull 5 or 10 watts. Not a GPU riser with a 6800 series graphics card or a 3090 pulling 75 watts through a GPU riser. So here's proof of the pudding. Sorry, I kind of just threw this together at the last second, but I wanted to help the community somehow and show them firsthand proof of why you don't want to use that. Okay, we already took a temperature. Thank you. <laughs> so if you like this video, thumbs up, please. Share this video around the mining community because I'm sure people will get worth out of this little demonstration here. And uh, I'll see you next time.